guys, how's it going? I am so glad to come back and be able to do some videos today. I have been very neglectful about my uh, my videos lately. Uh, life got in the way and it got in the way big time. And um, I've been just taking a little breather, taking some emotional uh, vacations and uh, just um, need to get back into the swing of things. Okay, that's all I'm going to say right now. There's more to come. I'll talk about what I've actually been going through um, day to day is kind of like a vloggy video later on but um, for those of you that don't know me welcome if you're new to my channel uh, I do uh, health issues health care healthful uh, videos I do skin care I do you know natural organic things um, some cooking things like that and some beauty so in this video today we're gonna be just going through my empties real quick uh, it's pretty eclectic I'm looking at it here on the side I've got my basket here and I'm looking through it and there's really not that um, if any maybe a couple of beauty products the rest are um, uh, just supplements and a couple of other things that I want to talk about uh, so if this is not your bag, that's fine. Go ahead and click out of this video now and then uh, you can come back to me later for any specific, you know, like beauty videos or uh, health videos or cooking videos. But this one's just going to be uh, really quick and it's just going through some of my empties and talking about, uh, as usual, how I like them, uh, why I use them and uh, will I be purchasing them again. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, here is my basket and uh, as you can see it's got a lot of things in it that um, you know are not really you know, beauty products obviously but um, worth mentioning and the reasons I'm using it and why I'm you know about to throw them away okay so uh, let's go through that let me go ahead and shut down some applications I'm seeing some lagging in my my video stream here as I'm watching it uh, I know that's not going to affect me in any way here, but you never know, you know, some of these things are just, uh, yeah, are just like slow down the system. There's so many things going on here as far as Wi-Fi that if I don't close down a lot of things, then, then my Wi-Fi will burp and we don't want that. So, all right, uh, again, so here they are. I'm going to go through them in no particular order. I'm not going to waste too much time on each one. I'm just going to let you know what it is. Okay, this first one is um, the bottle that I've been using for collagen for years now. Just years. I love this brand. It's called uh, U Theory or U Theory uh, Collagen Skin Hair and Nail Formula, 6,000 mg milligrams and enhanced with vitamin C. And it's got 290 tablets in it. It's not cheap. I think it's like, I don't know, 24, 25 bucks, but it does last me quite a while. I take about three or four tablets a day on this. I only take it in the morning. That's how I get my collagen supplement in. I know some people like a powder. Some people like to actually drink it in their powder. I, I don't really like that. I have my coffee. I'm a very simple person. I like my coffee in the morning. Um, I'll have a tea or something, a, a ice, ice cold tea in the afternoon for my lunch. I don't really, and, and then I have water for the rest of the day. I don't really make um, smoothies at home. I don't really do all kinds of nifty, nifty stuff, nifty uh, drinks at home. I just stick to the basics. So for me to take, you know, a couple of these pills, whoop, which way is it going? This way. A couple of pills and take it down with water that's all I need to do so uh, you know been going through this there's one in my cupboard right now I just keep replacing it but this was in my empties <clears throat> okay uh, I help support for doggies so if you have an older canine in your life that you love and you want to maintain their eye health and eye support uh, this is what I've been using for my older dog uh, quick story he did uh, pass away last month that's one of the reasons I have been off of uh, YouTube I was in a major major funk um, but you know he had a good life and uh, I did 
give him the supplement for quite a while, for over a year, maybe a year and a half, and it did help his eyesight, uh, but he recently got um, an ocular, like a um, burst or something, and unfortunately, uh, with everything else going on with his health, um, you know, uh, he didn't he didn't do quite well so again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be Debbie Downer in this video uh, I do want to do a video on um, a memorial like necklace that I've ordered for him uh, so when I do get that uh, I will do a video on that and how I like it and the review and then I'll get more into uh, you know pet loss if if you want to go ahead and uh, watch that you know if not then obviously you wouldn't want to click on that video either but I do I do feel it's important to talk about and especially um, nowadays you know with mental health and mindfulness and everything we we do want to uh, put this out there and not hide or uh, in any way um, belittle our feelings let's just say that uh, so anyway this is the health support that he got I used to give him two tablets at night I would crush it in his food and they are supposed to be like liver flavored and I'll read you some of the ingredients again this this will run you about I don't know 14 15 dollars at like PetSmart uh, I believe you can order it on um, oh, what is that thing uh, Chewy online so you can order it in a number of places uh, it has cod liver oil it has vitamin C vitamin E vitamin A uh, bilberry extract L lysine um, L cysteine, um, lutein, and that's really good for eyesight, even in uh, humans. Um, coenzyme, uh, coenzyme Q10, uh, lycopene, etc., etc. A couple of other things. Uh, again, for his for his poundage, he was around 20 pounds, so I would give him two tablets in his dinner time, crush it up in there, and he would, you know, chow it down. He'd never know that he's getting this. And I really do think that this uh, helped to preserve his eyesight for as long as it did, okay? All right, the other thing I have here is a Band-Aid. And yeah, I know this is just part of the empties. It's the Hydro Seal, which my son finds really, really uh, helpful. And it's big enough, this is the big ones, and he has had some issues and major, you know, scratches and things like that. Um, so he went ahead and uh, bought this one day, really liked it, and, you know, has kept it in our arsenal. I have yet to use it. I have the smaller ones. I have used one on the on the smaller ones. I did have a, like, a, a finger cut. And it was really good. You know, it stays on really, really well. So, yeah, it's just... You know, worth mentioning. Okay. Oh, I got the sneezes. I feel like I need to sneeze. Oh, gosh. You know how that happens, right? All right. Uh, another collagen here that I picked up, and this was only because I didn't have uh, the Youth Theory in time. So I did order this. I didn't order it. I think I picked it up at Walgreens or somewhere. It's the Spring Valley Collagen and Vitamin C. So this is another version. I do like the Youth Theory better. I will tell you that. But this is a, another one. It's a, just a regular, you know, tablets and you take them. And uh, this one, I believe you take also three tablets. Uh, it's got 15 calories in it. Um, it's got protein, vitamin C, a little sodium there. And the main ingredient is collagen. So uh, this was, again, just on a, on a whim because I was out of the other one. So took that one. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bioderma, uh, I've been using this for a while. I finally ran out of it. It is the moisture cleansing milk. There you go. And it was good, you know, it was a really good product. Uh, there's a lot of it and a little goes a long way. This I had better part of the year, honestly, because uh, I do rotate my cleansers and I do uh, get different uh, cleansers to try. And, um, you know, it took me quite a while to get through it. So there, I'm gonna put this up here. So, uh, you know, it lasts me better part of the year. It was a really nice cleanser, really, um, 
creamy. It did not suds up. It's not one of these sudsy cleansers, uh, but it, it just, it did its job. It did it very well. It, it's one of, what I call one of these boring things. It's not, it, it's not a wow, wow, like, oh my goodness, this is so wonderful and I just can't wait to use it. It was just your everyday, really, really good a creamy cleanser that did its job and did it very very well will I buy another one I've I will uh, eventually I just got to get through all my other stuff that I'm using right now I'm using a lot more foam cleansers uh, so I got to get rid of those and then I'll probably you know go back to something like this or something similar all right I know this is totally off off course here but it's a Philips uh, bulb it's one of these smart bulbs and uh, I have it upstairs in my bedroom on my my nightstand lamp is is this Philips and you download this app it's called the Wiz app and uh, you're able to basically program the bulb to do different colors it comes with preset themes it's actually really really pretty they have a night light theme they have a cozy theme they have a reading and a focus theme uh, all kinds and then you can do it all the way from a very cool light to a very warm light you know more of a almost like a candle orangey light of course you can do all kinds of colors reds and blues and greens for any occasion whatever you want but the cool thing about this, and it works on, you know, in your standard, uh, standard, uh, you know, light fixture or anything like that. The cool thing about this is it works wonderfully with Alexa. So I set up uh, Alexa to work with the Wiz app. Uh, and just you just have to add the device basically after you go ahead and set up your uh, your bulb you put your bulb in then you download your whiz app then you set up the um, the whiz app and you name your bulb and all of that I named it like bedroom lamp bulb you know nothing extravagant and then you go ahead and go into uh, Alexa and then you go ahead and set that up add that as a device and you can tell Alexa you know turn on my night lamp turn off my night lamp, dim my night lamp, um, make my night lamp blue or red or blah, 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 whatever you want to say. It's really helpful. I've really gotten used to it and definitely will pick up another one around here, you know, if I need it downstairs or anything like that. It's really worth it uh, and it doesn't really cost a lot more than a normal bulb does, honestly. So uh, definitely something that uh, you should try out. Okay, moving on, uh, a box of different gel. This is the new one that I got and I still have it. It's the one in the pump. The original one came in a tube when uh, different first came on the market, and which is Adapalene, which is like a retinoid uh, cream, if you guys don't know. Of course you do if you watch me a lot, you do know that. Uh, but I have been using the pump one um, I have been using it pretty sparingly over the summer. I have been taking a break from uh, retinoids in general just over the summer and I talk about that in another video, earlier video, uh, just, just doing a little bit of a, a skin vacation because of all the heat and everything. Um, I just don't need the retinoid uh, getting into my skin plus uh, you know the sun and the heat and all of this other stuff that you have to do so but this is the different gel I am still using it I just wanted to show you guys the box the box is what I'm throwing away um, you know nothing special about it it's it's a little creamier than the the one in the tube I find that it has more slip in it than the one in the tube so I definitely do like the pump one better all right, just your standard uh, B12 sublingual. This is the one that you can put under your tongue and it just basically uh, disintegrates and dissolves down. And uh, really, you know, your, your basic B12 for energy, I really liked it. Um, I'm planning to get more of it. Right now I have the one that you have to uh, swallow with water. No big deal, it's just happened to be the one that I picked up next but I do like the nature made and I will get back to that uh, one all right um, the pixie glow tonic I've got the other pixie uh, tonics right now that I'm going through one is the collagen and I think the other one is the 
alpha hydroxy acid one, the AHA one, but this is the glow tonic one, and I really, really enjoyed this one, but I've got to go through the other ones before I'm going to, you know, give out my coin and get another one. These are not cheap, guys. These are about $18 the last time I bought them. It could be probably even more by now. I got it at Target. That's the only place that I've seen it, other than Ulta. I believe Ulta does have it as well. But yeah, for what you get, this is uh, 4.2 fluid ounces, so not a big bottle by any means for $18. It does last quite a while, I must admit, because you know you just use it one time at night. Uh, that's when I use it, really. And uh, you know, it does its job, it does it beautifully, but still $18 for toner, you know, that's, that's a lot, for especially for a uh, not a high brand. We're not talking, you know, um, uh, Elizabeth Arden or Lancome or anything like that or Clinique we're just talking you know regular drugstore uh, products here all right spirulina I had a co-worker of mine talk me into getting this this is green algae for want of a better word uh, it's got all kinds of supposedly health benefits in it it's a big big pill if you see how big that pill is that's how big that pill is that uh, you're supposed to swallow and you're supposed to swallow three tablets at a time, which I did not. I did about two, one or two. Um, and it's got, uh, let's see what's in here, organic spirulina. That is the only ingredient in here. And so spirulina is like a, like a herb or something like that. I guess it's an herb. It, it looks like a little flowery thing. And uh, spirulina is a blue-green microalgae so it's a microalgae <clears throat> that has naturally occurring protein plus other nutrients such as vitamins minerals and gla which is gamma linolic linolenic acid uh, certified organic spirulina tablets are pure and contain no excipients binders or additives not manufactured with yeast wheat gluten soy corn milk egg fish shellfish or uh, tree nut ingredients okay so um I tried it it was okay I didn't see any revolutionary wonders I didn't get sick uh, I didn't get anything uh, but I didn't I I don't know maybe I was just healthy during the time I took it but I, I didn't really feel like this was like wow i'm you know i can't live without it um i used it up um i haven't bought it i've used it up about three four weeks ago and i haven't bought it uh so that goes to show you i don't really um feel that i need it i'm just really not gonna you know reorder it i tried it out and that was that uh okay next up is the nizzeral um anti-dandruff shampoo I always have this in my arsenal guys um, you know my hair is big and lush and a lot of it um, and I think I, I I put it my success to this honestly um, along with biotin and all the other supplements I take and uh, just living a healthier lifestyle but the Nizoral is amazing um, you know it just um, I notice a thicker hair. I notice, um, you know, much more, a lot more finer baby hairs growing out uh, of my scalp all the time. And a lot of people say that, you know, the ingredients in here are really good for uh, your scalp. And um, it's got the Keto Conazole, Conazole Anti Dandruff Shampoo. And that's supposed to, like, uh, kill off some fungi that can prevent your hair follicles from, you know, from growing and, and producing hair and all of that. Uh, so I've been using it for years and years and I do not shed. Uh, and I mean, look at my hair, okay? It's, it's so bushy. I do not shed uh, really, I mean, I'll shed one or two hairs here and there if I would pick out, you know, pick at it. But uh, in, the, in the shower, I do not shed uh, I just wash my hair with this. Now, I don't do it all the time. I have regular shampoos that I use and everything. I don't do it all the time. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll do it about, 
I would say twice, twice a week. You know, I would definitely use the miserol. Now, one thing I do want to tell you is this sucker is expensive. It's a small bottle. They do have a bigger one. This is the four ounce one. I believe they have a six or an eight ounce one. That's a little larger, but even more expensive. So um, a little does go a long way. I mean, it, it does lather up very well and it does suds up wet very well. So you don't need a lot. Uh, but you will be going through it. You definitely will be going uh, through a, a small bottle like this every couple of months. All right. Um, I have this NYX Lippy that I threw away. It, it just completely dried out. You know, it, it, it's, it was a nice Lippy. It was okay. Uh, but I had it forever and it's dried out now and... Uh, I'm not going to drive out of my way. It's not worth a drive to to get it. If I if I'm in Ulta or um, or Walgreens that has uh, NYX, yeah, I might pick another one up. It was okay. The shade is not my favorite. I'll probably choose another shade if I if I do pick another one up. I will sh choose another shade of it. That wasn't expensive. I mean, it was like maybe four bucks or something wasn't expensive okay uh the last one i've got here again is a nyx product it's the dip shape and go and i'll put a picture of it here on the side somewhere um uh, of a close-up of it so one side is like the the uh the brush and then the other side over here you're supposed to um twist it off and it's got a pot of uh i guess the pomade the dye the brow tint in it and then you just dip this side to this side and apply it and do your brows uh it was it was a little goopy for me honestly it looked like i had just um had my eyebrows tinted it was just that violently dark maybe i just got the wrong shade but it just like definitely like you could stare at my eyebrows like boom she she did her eyebrows today you know uh, and I don't like that big make, made up, you know, completely drawn in, perfect, uh, doll-like eyebrows. I call them like doll-like because they're, you know, they, they just look very artificial to me. I'm just saying like I say it. Uh, so, it, you know, I used it a few times and I'm, I'm, I wasn't passionate about it. So I'm probably not going to repurchase this again. This was like a one and done. I'll just, uh, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm just done with it. Uh, I think I chucked the entire bottle in the, in the actual trash trash. But I did keep the box to show you guys. Okay. Uh, and I think that is it. Yeah, I'm at the bottom here. I got nothing else for you guys. So that is it for um, all of the empties. Again, I know it wasn't exciting empties usually aren't exciting um i i'll try to be a little more diligent about when i do uh run through some of the actual makeup items i will try to not just throw them away in the trash but actually put them again in the in the empties and talk about them a little bit more excessively a uh, bit but uh, like i said the last few months have been extremely um up and down uh, around here and i i don't think i even thought about doing my videos and doing empties and keeping some stuff i just boom trashed it boom go on with my life kind of thing and um i think i will do a lot better probably the next time you know i'll have another empties probably before the end of the year i'm thinking you know uh so i'll try to you know, if I go through the uh, the beauty stuff or the skincare stuff, I will definitely not make it a point to chuck it in the regular trash and put it in my little empties basket and be a good girl about it, okay? All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know the routine. And please subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I really appreciate your support. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you know, I do uh, health videos and I do beauty videos and uh, a little bit of cooking and just a little bit of different things. Um, I even do some hauls. Uh, in fact, I did one today. Uh, I'll be putting that up, you know, probably in the next week or so. So you'll be seeing that. Uh, if it isn't on already, you'll probably be seeing it. 
Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. And uh, after the pretty lousy August that I had, um, and going on to September, still pretty lousy, but uh, we're getting through it. Uh, the holidays are coming around, so hopefully I'll get to um, have some time off and chill with my family and maybe go down to Florida a little bit and um, visit my other family down there. So, um, yeah, kind of looking forward to getting into the holiday spirit now, okay? All right, I love you guys very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!